let's take a look at this and we're going to talk about simplifying radical expressions. Now, radical expressions are relatively the same thing as just simplifying square roots. You guys are probably more familiar with that. Uh, when we see a square root, we see something like this. So a square root looks like that. So basically you're saying what two of the same products, what two of the same numbers multiplied together gives us something on the inside. So uh, to give you an example, uh, 3 squared gives you 9, right? Well, I like to tell my students 3 is like the root. It's like the bottom of a tree. So 3 is the root, but when you square it, it becomes 9. So just like how multiplication is the opposite of division or vice versa, square root is the opposite of taking things to the power of 2 or taking things squared. So the square root of 9 is equal to 3. Why? Because 3 times 3 gives you 9, which the square root of that gives you 3. So when we're looking at square roots, we, find, we want to find a pair of numbers and then we take it out as 1. So if we're breaking it down, it's always good to use a factor tree. So we have 25 times 20, or 25, which would be 5 times 5. So in this square root, we know that it's 5 times 5 would give us 25. But in square roots, the main thing you want to look at is you look for pairs. So we have a pair of 5s right here, so we just take it out as 1, 5. And the square root of 25 equals 5. Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, erase this really quick and uh, we'll get a different color. But let's look at taking the square root of 125. So we have 125 right here and let's break that down. Well, I know that it would be 5 times 25. So that's perfect. So that's still the square root and I like to write it like this so I just keep breaking it down. So I'll drop down my 5 again, and then I'll drop down this. Why? Well, because 5 times 5 times 5 would give me 125. Great. Now, what did we talk about, though? We said pairs. So whenever we see a group of 2, we take it out. Um, looking here, I see 1 5, and I see 2 5s. I don't see... I see three, but I don't see four. So I can't take out two pairs. I can only take out one. So I only take out one pair of fives. So that would be five square root. And see this guy? He's kind of still left in the house. That's what I tell my students. So when he's left inside the house, I keep him right here in there. So the square root of 25 really equals, when we simplify it, five square root five.